All right, it's day four of curriculum week and we are talking all things family subjects. Welcome to Plan, Prep, Pray. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones and on this channel, I talk about productivity, tips, methods, and resources because peaceful presence can be found when we are good stewards of our time. All right, so it is curriculum week and this week is going to be all about my 2021 to 2022 curriculum picks for all of my kiddos plus our family picks, read alouds, and um, Bible. So it's gonna be a fun week, which is so much within itself, but I'm doing giveaways. That's right, every single video, there will be a giveaway attached to that video. I am so excited. I wanted to treat you guys. This month is not only my birthday month, but <laughs> it is also my one year anniversary month of being on YouTube. And this month, I just wanted to say thank you. And I just wanted to treat you guys as much as possible. One of the main places that I find that is so incredibly important as a homeschooling stay-at-home mom, to be productive, to be effective with your time, because your time is limited, <laughs> is your homeschooling. And so a lot of my resources are not only geared towards fostering some level of independence for the student, but also are a lot of open and go things and a lot of um, rich, things because I believe that if you're spending your money and you're spending your time on a curriculum on a resource it should be rich it should be um, worth your money you know so all that to say um, let's dive in so this year um, we are using for the first time my father's world to really take over our family subjects. So with family subjects, I mean our Bible slash history. We do a separate Bible as well, but this is like Bible incorporated into history. Our science, literature, and our music. So those four things is pretty much what encompasses our family subjects. So I decided to do our curriculum picks videos this week with my children. My Father's World, Exploration to the 1850s Cycle. Now, what do I love about this curriculum? It's got everything. It's got it all laid out for us and it's amazing. So I heard about it from my friend Megan from Pennies and Salt. And what I love about it is it intertwines the Bible and God into everything, into our history, into our science, into our read aloud, into our music. So, and it's already done for me. So I have the schedule, I know how many pages to read, I know what to do, when to do, how to do it. So I am going, I have um, recorded an unboxing of everything that I got from my father's world and I will be doing um, a do a lesson with me and maybe a flip through if you want of different things. Just let me know in the comments what you want and I'll make sure to do that. So next week I will be having the unboxing and giveaway come out. It's an additional giveaway. So I'll be having the unboxing and giveaway come out from My Father's World. So things that were not included in the unboxing because I went and picked them up from Rainbow Resources because it was more affordable there. So I'm gonna go quickly run through those. And this is the second and third grade supplemental that comes with the curriculum as well. Cause the curriculum is designed for fourth to eighth grade, but it does have a second and third grade program that you can add on to it if you're working with multiple ages, which I love. What I ended up getting from Rainbow Resources was American Pioneers and Patriots, North American Indians, Red, White, and Blue, the story of the American flag, the 4th of July story, the courage of Sarah Noble. Thank you. I'm going to hate it with mom and dad. 
Sarah Merchant's story, The Complete Book of Animals. So for science, they're gonna be doing The World of Animals, Answers in Genesis. They're also going to be doing Guide, Guide to God's Animals, Exploring Creation with Botany. For Bible Sus History, they're gonna be doing Boy, Have I Got Problems. Ooh, this looks cool. Exploring American History. In God We Trust. I don't trust God so much. Building a City on a Hill. George Washington's World. The Last 500 Years. Oh my God. 500 Years. Mm -hmm. The Story of the World, Volume 3. Yes. Writing a State Report. That's yours. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> US President's flashcard. Do we have all these memorized? Um, no. Do we have all these memorized, <laughs> And then we have a United States wall map. Alright, now the read alouds that go with my father my father's world. We have Almost Home. Amos Fortune, which my son's gonna, we're gonna be doing that as a read aloud, but he's also gonna be reading it on his own. Madeline Takes Command, William Carey, Mary Jones and Her Bible, Bound for Oregon. So those are the read alouds that come with My Father's World. We also have other read alouds that I have chosen, which are from Sunlight and Beautiful Feet. That will be a separate thing. <laughs> okay, we will also be doing a science experiment um, making a soda, a soda bottle bird feeder. Um, you have so gum all over your mouth. For music, and excuse me if I butcher their names, but for music we will be doing Mendel's Sol Solution, I think. So we'll be doing the story of Mendel Solution, okay. the best of Mendel Solution. Mm -hmm. You guys have to put the pronunciation for me in the comments. Let me see. Schubert, the best of Schubert. Choppin. Best of Choppin. The best of Choppin. That's right, you're right. We also have Ben Sings My Soul, which at church today, my son was actually looking over the hymnals. Um, I like that. So he really liked that. So we're going to be doing Ben Sings My Soul, which doesn't only have the, um, the hymns, but it also has the story behind the hints. It's over 150 devotional style stories. So, so these are not our only readers, but some fun readers that we are doing is we are going to be doing the tale of Despero, which they're gonna love this. What? What? Great. Oh yeah. Adventures with Waffles. Bye. We're going to be doing the Precious Mystery series. Oh, I remember which I had an unboxing come out, which went over them. So I'll link that up above. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing Kippy Long Stocking. So those are a couple of our readers. We do have a lot more readers from, like I said, from Sunlight and from Beautiful Feet. And that will be a separate video with all the readers. All so the another part of our family subjects is Bible. We do Bible together. So yes, we are going to be doing Bible with My Father's World, but I also have Bible in the sense of um, character traits that I like to focus on during school time. We do Bible pretty much all throughout the day, and we're going to be um, implementing family worship, more like strict family worship, as well as some other times for Bible, which I will explain in my Bible video. But for school time Bible, we are going to be doing Obey. And these are from Not Consumed Ministries. And I have a link for like $5 off down below. And they're already like 15 bucks. So um, I have a link for an additional $5 off, which I'll link down below for you guys to use. And these are biblical um, study guides, and she's got a bunch of them. So they've got obedience. We've done Brothers Keeper, but we did Brothers Keeper, the printout. But I went and got the actual books, which I'm super excited about because they've got stickers and bookmarks and all these things. Stickers. Yeah, and my kids love stuff like that. So stickers, um, bookmarks. Yeah. The other thing that we need a lot of 
and we're gonna be implementing this during our family time is the sibling challenge game. My friend Katie from Life in the Mundane has a detailed video of the sibling challenge game. So I will link her video down below in the description and um, to explain more about this, but I am super excited about this. We need anything and everything that encourages loving on your siblings, right? Mm -hmm. Now today's giveaway is going to be a $25 Amazon gift card for you guys to pick out your own special read alouds to do with your kiddos. Leave me a comment with the emoji that showed up in the video and let me know which one of these readers would be your first pick for the first fun reader of the year.